द टॉपिक इज मैग्नेटिक टॉर्क एंड मोमेंट टू डिटरमाइन द मैग्नेटिक टॉर्क वी कंसिडर अ करंट लूप दैट इज प्लेस्ड इन एक्सटर्नल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दिस करंट लूप हैव सम एक्सिस ऑफ रोटेशन एज द करंट कैरिंग लूप इज प्लेस्ड इन एक्सटर्नल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड this current loop experience a force and tends to rotate and this force which make the current loop to rotate about its own axis is called torque the or magnetic torque so here we consider a current loop that is a rectangular one and current is flowing in clockwise direction now this current loop has four sides ab bc cd and da so first we take a sides bc and ad on sides bc and ad we consider a small current element that is ideal vector on side bc the current is flowing from b to c so the direction of current element ideal vector is from b to c and this current element ideal vector makes some angle theta with respect to external field b as we know that due to this current element in the external field it experience a magnetic force the direction of the magnetic force is determined by the cross product of ideal and b vector so here we take a cross product that is ideal vector cross b vector so we get a magnetic force the direction of the magnetic force is given by a right hand rule for this we turn the ideal vector towards b vector and using a right hand thumb rule we get the force that is a downward and for side da the direction of current element ideal vector is from d to a and it makes an angle theta with respect to b and as we move ideal vector towards b vector then we get a magnetic force that is upward as we take a normal unit vector of the current loop we can define a force that is a magnetic force downward for bc path and upward for da path similarly we take a side ab and cd and here we take a current element ideal vector for ab side the current is flowing from a to b so the ideal vector direction is from a to b but here this ideal vector makes an angle zero with respect to b vector so the magnetic force on the side ab is zero because sin zero is zero when we take a cross product of ideal cross b vector and similarly for side cd the current is flowing from c to d and its current element ideal vector makes again zero degree with respect to b and there is no magnetic force so we conclude that on at on the side ab and cd there is no magnetic force but there is a magnetic force on bc and da side that is equal and opposite so the force is which is equal and opposite and act at different points on the loop and it creates a couple due to this couple that is a equal and opposite force acting on two different opposite sides of the loop they creates a magnetic torque and due to this magnetic torque the current loop at rotation about its own axis of rotation so from here we get a formula of magnetic torque the magnetic torque or magnetic moment of force the magnetic torque is denoted by capital t vector and it is equals to 
R vector cross F vector. Where here R vector is called moment arm. That is the distance between two equal and opposite forces at the two sides of the loop. And F is the force that act on the two sides. So we here we take a magnetic torque. Magnetic torque is denoted by T vector that is equals to R vector cross F vector. So for the given current loop having side AB, BC, CD and DA, we can determine the total force. As we know that there is a force on side BC and DA only, there is no force on side AB and CD. So the total force is equals to F vector equals to I integration DL cross B plus I integration DL cross B. The first integration is for path B to C and second integration is for path D to A. So the total force is the force acting on BC path plus DA path. Now as we know that the current loop have some dimensions having width W and length L. So the BC path and DA path is along the length L and we take a limit that is from 0 to L for B to C and L to 0 for D to A. For second integration, the limit is L to 0. To make the same limit, we take a minus sign and it becomes minus 0 to L DL cross B. So from here, we get a positive sign for first term and negative for the second term. We get the total force that is equals to 0. This has happened when the side BC and CD are perpendicular to the magnetic field B vector. To get a perpendicular, it's the loop should be normal direction with respect to B vector. Means here we consider a unit vector normal that is the direction of the current loop. The force is equal and opposite on the two side BC and DA. We get the total force equals to 0. Now at this position when the current loop is normal to the magnetic field, we get the maximum torque. To apply here, the torque T vector is equals to R vector cross F vector. So the formula of the cross product is magnitude of R vector into magnitude of F vector and sine alpha. Alpha is the angle between R vector and force vector. So here the magnitude of R vector is moment arm width that is W and magnitude of force is I into B L because here the force is equals to D L cross B. So the formula is I into B L sine alpha. In this position, the value of alpha is 90 degree. So, we get a torque that is B i L into W and here L length into width is the area. That is the area of the loop. So, we get the magnetic torque P vector equals to B i into A and this is the maximum torque that is act in a current loop situated in the external magnetic field B vector. Now we consider a second case when the current loop having a normal direction is parallel to B vector. Now here the current loop is perpendicular to B vector that is the normal direction that is unit, normal unit vector makes angle 0 degree with respect to B vector and in this case the magnetic torque is equals to 0 because here the angle between unit, unit normal vector and B vector that is alpha is equals to 0 so sine 0 is 0 we get a torque that is 0 so we conclude that when the loop that is a current loop normal unit vector makes 90 degree with the magnetic field we get a maximum torque and when the unit normal 
direction of the current loop makes 0 degree with respect to magnetic field B vector, we get a 0 torque. Now we take a third case when the current loop having unit normal direction makes some angle alpha with respect to external magnetic field B. For this situation, we get a couple of force on the two opposite sides of the current loop that is BC and DA and the direction of this couple of force is shown in figure. One of the force is upward and another is downward on the two opposite sides of the current loop and from here we can determine the magnetic torque. So, magnetic torque is equals to R vector cross F vector, where R vector is called a moment arm, that is the distance between the couple of force. So, from here, the couple of force having a distance R, and what is R? R can be determined from this figure, where we take a right angle triangle. So, in right angle triangle, W is the hypotenuse and the moment arm. Moment arm is the base of this right angle triangle, that is the distance between these two couple of force. And the value of R is equals to W cos 90 minus alpha. Because from here, alpha is the angle made by unit normal vector with respect to B and the side W makes 90 minus alpha angle. So, from here we get a angle that is 90 minus alpha that is between W and base of the right angle triangle. So, from here we get a cos 90 minus alpha that is R upon W and we get R equals to W cos 90 minus alpha that is sin alpha. So, from here we can determine the moment arm that is the distance between two couple of force and it is equals to W sin alpha. Now we take a formula of magnetic torque that is T vector equals to R vector cross F vector by putting the value of R vector that is W sin alpha and magnitude of F vector is B into I into L. And here the area of the loop is L into W, so we call it S. So the mag magnetic torque becomes Vis sin alpha. And here we know that the I into S is called the magnetic dipole. And we can write a magnetic dipole M equals to I into S. So, here the magnetic dipole is I into S. I is the current flowing in the loop and S is the area of this loop. So, this is a formula of magnetic dipole that is I into S and it is denoted by small m in case of magnetostatics. So, the magnetic torque T vector is equals to B into M sin alpha. In terms of magnitude, we take a m equals to is and in case of vector we take a m vector is equals to is unit normal vector because this is a magnetic dipole of the current loop and the direction of the current loop is along unit vector n. So, the direction of the magnetic dipole moment is also towards normal direction. So, this is the formula of magnetic dipole moment and its unit is ampere meter square because this is a product of current and into area, the unit of current is ampere and the unit of is meter square. So, the unit of magnetic dipole moment is ampere meter square. So, from here, we introduce a magnetic torque that is T vector equals to R vector cross F vector, where R vector is called moment arm and F vector is force and its unit is Newton meter. And the second is moment, that is the magnetic dipole moment. It is denoted by m vector and it, this is equals to I into S. 
and having a unit normal direction. Now, as we take a current loop that is situated on an external magnetic field, this current loop behave as a magnetic dipole. Means it has two poles. The current loop, current carrying loop, having a two poles. As we see from the top view, current is flowing in clockwise direction and it behave as a south pole. And as we see from bottom view, the current is flowing in anti-clockwise direction and it behave as a north pole. So we can see that the current carrying loop behave as a magnetic pole. It has two equal and opposite magnetic pole and behave as a magnetic dipole and its dipole moment is denoted by m vector equals to i into s unit normal vector. So, the magnetic dipole moment is the product of current and the area of the loop and its direction is normal to the loop. So, from here we see that the magnetic torque T vector equals to r vector cross f vector and its unit is newton meter and the second is the magnetic dipole moment it is denoted by i into s s is the area of the loop to unit normal vector 